my beautiful Libras. How are we? This is Lion Gates Heart Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for my first beautiful week of the channel. You have been generous. You have been kind. You have left comments. You have left subscribes. I'm so, so very grateful for your energy. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Oh, I'm hitting the camera, getting overexcited as usual. So this is for the week, for the 21st of October to the 28th of October. Angel Spirit, guys, this is for our beautiful Libra energy. If we can have some cards just to clarify to them what they've got on their way. Thank you very much. Thank you. And one more, if you would be so kind, please, Angel Spirit, guys. Thank you very much. Lovely. Right, I'm very in tune today. So we have, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Let's clarify. Can we clarify the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Angel Spirit guys, clarify the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you very much. That is clarified by the Ace of Swords. Ace to see. Brilliant. And the Page of Swords. Fabulous. Thank you. Can we clarify the King of Wands, please? Can you clarify the King of Wands for my beautiful Libra energies? My beautiful, beautiful Libra energies. If you want that to come out, please show me again because it didn't fly. For the King of Wands. For the King of Wands. Yeah. Okay. 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 I get it. <laughs> That is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. They were like, you're going to have the Eight of Pentacles today. You're going to have the Eight of Pentacles. Absolutely fine. And can we clarify the Ten of Swords, please? The Ten of Swords. Thank you very much. That is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Any more? I've got a feeling we've got one more. Yeah. And also the Seven of Cups. Okay, let me absorb this energy. Can we see everything on camera, Libra? Right, we are going to start with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, when we start with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, sometimes it means lost opportunities. Sometimes it means an, an impatient person. Um, often it obviously can mean... The Page of Pentacles is a younger energy, an impatient person or an impatient situation you've been dealing with, or you've just lost your patience with a situation. And then in comes your Ace of Swords energy. When we speak about the Ace of Swords, it's one of my favorite, favorite cards in the pack. The Ace of Swords just basically chops through absolutely everything. It is a force, an unstoppable force of movement, a change for the good. You know, success is guaranteed and it cuts through all obstacles. So whatever this impatience you've had to deal with, your Ace of Swords is coming in. Also, that is clarified with the Page of Swords. When we speak about the Page of Swords, um, we often meet, it can mean... Um, a spark of a new idea it's an eager adventure you wish to go on and it's something to be proud of so you've got a spark of something new coming into play there and then we go to the king of wands what a beautiful energy indeed the king of wands talks about an entrepreneur a business person generous you know the king of wands he he's strong he's bold he's well, he's pretty, pretty blooming awesome, if you ask me. He's very sexually active as well. So that, you know, every cloud. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the King of Wands, um, generous and kind and compassionate. And he's an entrepreneur, okay? So whatever this spark is, use the King of Wands energy there. And it is a spark indeed, because next we've got, we talk about your hard work. When we speak about the Eight of Pentacles, that is hard work, okay? This is learning in the development stage and it's putting your skills to good use here. So whatever that skill is, run with it. Goals will work out in the end. This is working for future rewards. And then that is clarified for the beautiful empress so this is telling you to nurture it into fruition okay nurture that into fruition um it's going to be beneficial so what you've had you it's probably within ten of swords energy you know we're feeling betrayed lost um sometimes it can feel, mean you've been stabbed in the back and this is a stagnant edge energy that is within you this is a low frequency energy you need to get rid of it um 
So it's basically something that's playing on your mind. And then we go to the Three of Pentacles. When we speak of the Three of Pentacles, it's clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Again, it's talking about using your skills to make a profit, guys. So you will get the envy of others, and this could be your Ten of Swords energy. Just get rid of them. Use those swords, say, and take them out your own back. Slice straight through it, guys. Come on, Libra, you're strong. You could you can do this slice straight through it and use your skills and your talents because this read is about you then we go to the seven of cups the seven of cups tells you you've got choices coming into play an important decision has to be made there are lots of options and lots of doorways to go through but now you have to go within and use your intuition in order to find the doorway that's right for you wow 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 so from the 21st to the 28th of October, guys, you've got it going on. Go within and find out. So your patience is about to run clear. The Ace of Swords comes in and chops through that. You have a little message coming in. Use your King of One energy, One's energy um, and your entrepreneurial side to bring in those pentacles. Your Eight of Pentacles, it is hard work, but it's also your skill set and you have to nurture that into fruition. We go to the Ten of Swords, which is often an internal energy you are battling with. You need to just raise that vibration because your skill set is absolutely fantastic and it will bring you the pentacles and don't doubt yourself. And then we go to the Seven of Cups. So, you know, your Seven of Cups energy, as I've just explained, is a decision that needs to, well, you need to make a decision, basically. So many doors of opportunity are going to open, but it's about you going within and using your intuition. And, you know, that intuition, if you need to meditate, if you need to do anything like that, you will find it. So, angels, to clarify and tie up this reading for the beautiful, beautiful Libra. Can we have some clarification, please, and an angel message from you? Angel spirit, guys, an angel message for Libra. Thank you. What do they need to know for the week of the 21st of October to the 28th? If you want that one, throw it out. Thank you. Okay. We have two. Right. Archangel Chamuel. Archangel Chamuel works on a pink ray of love and being blessed with this Archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Love has no restriction and accepts all people as they are, nor does it judge. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger and separation. Let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones, those you dislike and strangers. This creates a bridge of light which the angels can move along and bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed and fulfilled with love. The affirmation is my heart is filled with the flame of love. Beautiful. And aspiration. It's time to set your sights higher. Okay, use that skill. If you are settling for mediocre, aim for the superb. Stretch yourself to fulfill your potential and hold mighty visions. Find the wisdom within you which enables you to aspire to great and glorious. Then expand your comfort zone so that you can explore your dreams. Angels guide you never to settle for less than an incredible human spirit can achieve or deserves. Ask for help from the angels and they will guide and aspire you to raise your consciousness and live at a high level. Let your spirit soar and aim for the divine. The affirmation is, I aspire to be great and glorious. Too blooming right you do, Libra. How beautiful is that to end your reading? Everything I've just said has just been clarified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Angel Spirit Guides. So have a beautiful one. Thank you for joining me. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Thanks for all your light subscribes and little messages. Honestly, it makes my week. And it's lovely to know when it you know, resonates with you. Only tell you what resonates and leave the rest. Um, and just give me a message. It's lovely to hear from you. Have a beautiful, abundant and blessed week.